This free pick update is one of the most impressive ones I've seen so far. I agree, Eric. But it's not just one update, there are actually two amazing updates. And when you add these new features, along with the other amazing new features that are coming soon, free pick right now may be the number one AI tool out there. This is an impressive update. Free pick just released custom characters and custom styles, now available for all premium users. And in my opinion, this one I'm sharing today is one of the best character consistency tools I've used by far. So to start, let's first take a look at custom characters. And then from there, I'm gonna show you these amazing new custom styles. And now right off the bat, you can see I've already have been doing this nonstop. Here are a few images of myself in addition to my AI influencer right here named Luna. Hi, I'm Luna, nice to meet you. Now to be honest with you, this is gonna be the best character consistency I've used so far when it comes to using your own specific photos. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Now this image you see right here is directly from a YouTube video screenshot and I was able to generate this specific photo of myself. Okay, so now that we're on this page, the next thing you wanna do is over here on the left-hand side, you should see it's called character right here on the left. Once you select that, you're gonna have these options populate, okay? Now here's where the fun part begins. Now you can see right now, I already have two custom characters already built. Like I said, here's one of myself, and then now here is my AI influencer. In order to start this process, just go ahead and select new character by selecting this button right here or in the top right hand corner, new character. Either way, it's gonna take you to the same place, which will be this location right here. Now, right off the bat, you have two options, quality or ultra. For me, I've been using high and it's been doing a fantastic job. Now, you first wanna train your model, okay? And it says right here specifically, use 12 to 24 images, although five to 25 can work this range captures details without being repetitive so what you want to do first is just come up with anywhere between 12 and 25 images but the more images with more detail you have the better of a job it's going to do and i'll show you exactly how to do that in a second because you can either click and drag the images themselves or you can just simply compress them and then upload one big zip file okay so to get started let's first do this with our ai influencer then i'll show you how to do it with yourself i'm over here in my mega prompts database okay now specifically Specifically, I'm in the AI art prompts tab. I can instantly see all of my favorite images. And this is gonna be so incredibly important because when you have access to images fairly quickly, it's gonna make all the difference in the world. So right off the bat, I can see right here already are two images of my influencer named Luna, okay? So I have two images right here I can use to upload. I'm gonna have about 15 right here. And so once you have them in one location or all of your images together, the next thing you wanna do is simply compress them into a zip file. Now that's not necessary because it says right here you can go ahead and upload the images and then just select them one by one but in this case I want to go with the most simplest method. Now there is my large zip file and like I said you can upload these one by one or what I could do is just simply come in here and make sure I highlight all the ones I want. Okay let's say I'm going to have multiple images like this highlighted. Now the next step all you have to do is just right click them and now just simply select compress. Now I'm using a Mac computer it might be different for you but nonetheless less the end goal is to have one zip file just like this now once you have that zip file ready to go all you have to do is now just select this box right here and now it opens up and now just select your zip file and then instantly it's going to use this as the training method and it's going to do the same thing for when you want to do images of yourself but once it has this training method down look how easy this is now next step is to simply name your model okay so mine's Luna you can just name it anything else that you want let's say I was naming this one Bella and that is going to be very important because when you're ready to generate images you can just reference at and then your model's name let me show you exactly how this works out so now we're going to come back over here I could either select Luna as soon as I select her look over here on the left hand side she automatically populates let's go ahead and now remove her but now watch this okay so right now I am in flux 1.0 which brings me to another important piece of information you can't utilize custom characters or custom styles in every model just yet you can only utilize it in Flux and Mystic right now, but either way, it's gonna do a fantastic job. I'm gonna come back over here into my Mega Prompts database in which you can also get access to this as well via the links in the description. To get the most amazing prompts databases, click the links in the description. Let's see if I can utilize this same exact prompt, okay, and see if I can get a similar sort of an image. Now, I'll head back over here. I'll simply paste that prompt in, but now watch this. At the very end, I'm gonna hit and, and now I'm gonna start typing in Luna and look at that. There 
there she appears, select it, and now let's go ahead and generate this one. Now down here at the very bottom, you could see that I have this toggle right here as far as the strength is concerned, and do it as well in Mystic, okay? Same thing, I have Luna selected, again, all the way to the very end. We're gonna have two variations, but look at this, right away I get this first one. Look how good of a job this did. For reference, look at this image right here, beautiful. I would almost argue it did a better job than the original one. Very impressive. I selected four images, so let's go ahead and take a look at all four of these, and I have to tell you this did a phenomenal job. Now, these first four right here were done in Flux 1.0, but again, look at the clarity and look at how accurate it got my character. I've never had one do such good of a job. And now look at this one right here for Mystic. Amazing. So just like that, you could see how quickly I was able Able to get these consistent characters. But now look at this one. This did it perfectly. She is definitely the same exact character. It's exactly what I was wanting. The color scheme is still there. It did a fantastic job. Look at these images I got earlier today. All I did on this one was I just said woman in the cyberpunk city and then there it is. I did at Luna. Boom. Just like that. There she is. And all of these turned out incredibly fantastic. The most simplest prompt woman in the cyberpunk city and then I just added at Luna. Incredible job. Even when you say extreme close-up it really did get the details very good. Now this time I want to utilize one of my most favorited prompts and that is going to be this image right here. You can see up here at the top I am in my free pick tab. I gave it its own special place because it's been doing such a great job. Okay now here is the long prompt right here and now here is what the image is going to look like. Let's see if I can get exactly what I was wanting. Now while this is thinking let me go back over here to character and then just remind you how you can follow the same exact process when you want to use an image of yourself. Here's my model of myself, Eric. The process is going to be the same exact thing you did when I showed you how to generate an AI generated image. It's the same thing. This time, instead of uploading AI generated images to train your model, you'll now just simply get images of yourself off of your phone or camera and then just upload those as well. Okay, now look at this image. This image did do a fantastic job. Beautiful. It got everything exactly how I was wanting. Now that was character consistency. There are so many things you can do with it, experiment with it, you're going to get some amazing results. But now let's move on to our styles, okay, and customize them to use over and over again. Now this process is also very simple. In order to find styles, it's going to be the same exact thing. Over on the left hand side, just simply select style and open that up. I made one right here, you can already see my model. But let's do the same thing, just select new style. Now check this out, we're going to have a few different things we can do. Now right off the bat, you have generate from prompt or image, okay. It's going to follow the same principle. If you want to generate from a prompt, all you have to do, type in one of your favorite prompts, okay? So let's try that. I'll come back over here to my database and I'll select my free pick tab because I already know which one I want to use. And here is the whole entire prompt, just like that. Now, I'm going to download this image very quickly. You're going to see why that's going to be so important. So now we're back over here in free pick and let's just come up with a name. I'm going to just say interstellar. That way I know which one to reference. I'm going to select prompt and in my prompt, Prompt. There it is. There is the full prompt I'm going to use. Now go ahead and now select create style. That style is now saved. You can see it's right here. Interstellar style. Now let's test this out. You can now actually combine your custom style with your custom character. And like I mentioned earlier today, that's exactly how I was able to get these two images of myself. So in this case, I'm going to remove the word astronaut and just say a, a woman. Okay. A woman is standing in icy water. Everything else is going to stay the same. But I did notice one thing. I added Luna, but I did forget my style. Okay, so just to show you how this can actually work in reverse. On this first one, I just utilized the prompt and I typed in Luna for my character and look at what a fantastic job this did. So incredibly well done. Again, this has to be the best model right now for custom characters. Now, let's make sure we add our style. Now that I have my style already created, here it is. I'm going to select Interstellar. Now my style is selected over here on the left hand side and I'm not even going to utilize a prompt. That's unnecessary because my style has already been trained. Okay. Now I could also add Luna as well. So I have my style and Luna selected, but now look at this for my prompt. This is all I'm going to say cinematic wide angle. 
let's just see very simple because again, I should still get my images looking very similar to this because my style has been created and my style has been trained. And then look at that. There you have it. Amazing job. Let's try to create one that's going to look more Pixar style related, but now let's try it with images. Okay. Now this time I'm going to utilize a lot of different Pixar related images. And right off the bat, you can see right here, here are a ton of my animation Pixar style images. Okay. And now let's go ahead and do upload images. All I'm doing is just coming in here and selecting all of the images I know are going to be like a Pixar style 3D render animation. You can see here are all of my images I just uploaded for reference. Okay. Now just like that, look at this. It says training in progress. Now let's go ahead and give this a quick test. And now let's just say Panda. Okay. Now look at that with my brand new style, a simple, very simple prompt. I just put Panda. Look at this. Look how good of a job this did. These four right here, one, two, and then three and four. Okay. And then very quickly, just to leave on a very impressive note. Now look at this right here. I just put Elsa from the movie Frozen. Look at that. Fantastic and very impressive job. Very nice. So there you have it. Another impressive update by Free Pick. And if you like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when the newest updates come out. And thank you so much for watching.